that scrunch on the inside feels like I have a wedgie. I do not understand why this is a top rated bestseller on Amazon. Okay, the panza is out and about. I am coming at you with another video specifically testing out Amazon's best top rated biker shorts. I have eight in this lineup so far, so we are going to test them out. Looking for something that is going to be similar to some of my three favorite biker shorts. I still haven't found that like holy grail short that fits all of my criteria. We'll see, maybe we'll find something in here. So let's get started. The first one that I have is going to be the Tom Tiger biker short. I've heard really good things about this short, so I'm extremely curious about it. A lot of these things actually I purchased during Amazon Prime Day, so the price that I purchased it for isn't going to necessarily be the price that you can get it for at this time because Amazon changes their prices all the time so just buyer beware but this short apparently on the site says it's 80% nylon 20% spandex which is extremely important when it comes down to materials because there are shorts that I have that I like that are around this type of material. The price that I paid for these was $20.79. These are a five inch inseam. The color that I got was coffee, which is extremely popular, super pretty brown. I ordered a large in this, but the size chart says that I should be technically an extra large. I've had some trouble with the Amazon biker short size guide just because, um, I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. This is the short, it has the tiger logo right here that you can see it's actually pretty discreet and these are pretty interesting it kind of has like holes right here I'm assuming for ventilation it has a scrunch booty which looks so weird in person I actually don't own shorts that have this scrunch situation I don't know how I feel about having that all dug up in there yeah I don't know it looks super weird I'm really liking this color though I think it's a super pretty Kind of maroony brown it's very much giving me red undertone in terms of the material it feels nice it definitely feels like an athletic work material i'm not gonna i'm, I'm not gonna lie to y'all i don't know how i feel about this waistband here um it's pretty interesting it seems like it's kind of like double waistbanded or something pretty interesting design here i'm not really sure why that is this is the tom tiger shorts and I'm not mad at it. I really love this coffee color. I think it is very, very flattering. It is a very nice kind of like brown with like a reddish undertone. So this is really nice, a very unique color in my opinion. It doesn't give you a ton of tummy control in this area. Like if I just go, you know what I'm saying? There's my food baby. So, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's a nice, comfortable short. It's, it has like the booty scrunch, but it's not like, all up in there overall the waistband actually fits very comfortable here at the top this is a size what size did i get this in this is a size large so and it's it feels comfortable it doesn't feel very compressive at all i don't think this short technically is meant to feel very compressive the seams here on this waistband are a little interesting i'm not really sure why it has a seam up here and then a seam down here i think this seam down here is supposed to like kind of like make that V on the back so that it kind of accentuates the glutes. But right here is where I need, um, you know, tummy control. And it's not really giving me too much, but it's not horrendous. So overall, I am not mad at this one. I don't know if this is technically my favorite short. It's okay, I love the color, and I like the fact that it's not digging into my thighs, which is also really nice. So again, if you are around my measurements, I think a large would fit you really nice, and it's just gonna sit on your body. It's not going to dig in or compress anywhere. This seems like a very comfortable short. I could definitely work out in this. I'm not really sure how sweat wicking this is going to be. The material seems like it'd be okay, for sweaty workouts, but I'm not 100% sure how that's going to look like if you're gonna get any sweat stains in like, you know, your little areas. Um, I don't care, other people do, so just FYI. But yeah, this is how the short looks on me. And overall, it's actually a very flattering short, so honestly, 
it's it's on it's getting there as a top contender i'm not gonna lie okay next short that we have is the lavento i think it, that's how i say it lavento it's the women's naked feeling biker short high waist blah 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 we all know that amazon sellers love their keywords it came in this particular packaging so nothing super fancy this yoga sh yoga short is a five inch short 77 percent nylon 23 percent spandex uh, at the time that I purchased this during Prime Day, it was $17.99. Um, again, five inch inseam, and the color that I got it in was light taupe. The size is a eight, according to what I purchased. And I am typically an eight or a medium to large, depending on the brand. It actually feels really good. Really, really soft material. I'm actually pretty impressed with this. So far, it looks really, really nice. I'm really impressed with this so far. I am loving the fact that the waistband doesn't have the seam at the top, so it's going to sit very flat on your on your waist, which is gonna look really good, hopefully. It's giving me, um, you know, vibes of another brand, especially with this long uh, little tag right here. So this is going to be an interesting try on. It does have a gusset. So if you are concerned about that, that's what it has. And so far it looks pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Not bad for like less than $20 shorts. I'll tell you that. Now we have the Levento short. I love this taupe color. I think it's extremely flattering. I think it's very nice. It's like a nice neutral. This is supposed to feel like a naked feeling type of short. It is a five inch inseam. And this is a tag, don't worry y'all. I just, otherwise, hold on, let me, let me fix it. I'm not mad at this short. I love the fact, again, that this seam is very seamless. It's not going to dig into your waist. So honestly, very comfortable short. It is super soft. It feels really, really nice. But I don't know. Um, it's not giving me a ton of tummy control, but it's not super bad because I know one of the basically top rated shorts from a brand that's way more expensive than this uh, doesn't have a ton of tummy control either. So just keep in mind, this is actually a very flattering short and probably pretty comparable to our more expensive brands. This is actually pretty nice. And overall, the fit is really nice. I like that it's not digging into my thighs, which is really comfortable. The seams don't feel really rough either. Overall, I'm liking this kind of, what is it, 77% nylon, 23% spandex blend. It's actually very, very soft. So we have that, and it's honestly like really flattering. I love this color, and these shorts are actually nice. I love the length on this. I am not mad at this short, and honestly, this is a cute fit right here. Like I could, I could work out in this. Like this is super cute. I'm loving this taupe color. This is definitely my vibes. It is not digging up into my tuckus and making it feel like I have a wedgie. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not mad at this, okay? I kind of look a little naked <laughs> um, in the mirror, but in camera you can definitely tell what the color is. It's like a very light gray, and I am not mad at this. Like, this is giving, okay, y'all? This is giving what I need it to give. I'm liking it. It's smoothing areas, and it's, you know, I mean, not a huge amount of tummy control, y'all food baby it's really not too bad like this is a very comfortable short I feel like I could probably definitely work out in this I love that it actually doesn't have a seam here either so you're not gonna have like really bad camel toe it does have a gusset and like you can feel like the lining here in the middle so not bad I'm actually pretty impressed with these like these I think might be the top ones okay these these really might be might be the short Y'all yeah, like this, I like this short, okay? Okay. We're going with the Camo Fitness Serenity short. Um, this says it doesn't have a front seam, it's high-waisted. This is going to be a six inch inseam short. Packaging says Camo Fitness out there. So, you know, pretty basic packaging. Um, looks like this, not too shabby. Definitely feels like a thicker short than the other two that I have tried. Not too bad though in terms of the material is this says it is 75% nylon 25% spandex this cost at the time that I purchased it $23.98 the color is fudge I mean I, I don't think it's really showing on the camera the color but it's giving me very much like a very dark 
purple. I wouldn't necessarily say this is like brown brown, but it's definitely a very dark purpley brown. I'm loving the waistband right here. This is a flat seamless waistband here at the top. You can see that, which is going to pretty much sit right on your waist. It's not going to dig into you or at least it shouldn't. So that's nice. It doesn't have a, it says it doesn't have a front seam, but it does have a back seam on it and it does have a gusset. Those, these are going to be pretty interesting to try on. This size that I got it was a medium. So let's give this one a go. Okay, so these are the camo fitness ones. And honestly, I am really impressed. I feel like it's extremely soft on the outside, so I'm not really sure how that's going to sweat wick. Overall, I feel like it looks really nice. It's not digging in in places it shouldn't be digging in. Overall, the thigh isn't like super digging into my thigh and giving me what people consider sausage leg, which is apparently a thing. I didn't know till now. <laughs> Tummy control is really good on this shorts. So if you have that issue or concern, that's honestly good. They feel pretty compressive and I think it's supposed to give you somewhat of a light compression. So it feels really nice. It looks very flattering on. The seams aren't distracting either. I love the fact that it has like no seam right here on the waistband. So it's just sitting very flat on my waist and not digging into my waist. So we love that. I love the color of this. This is supposed to be fudge, but it's giving me very much like a very dark purpley brown, which I am not mad at. It's actually very nice. I honestly feel like this is a really nice short. Like if you need a biker short, you could necessarily work out in this. I don't know how sweat wicking it's going to be though, just because the fabric feels very, very casually to me. Like I feel like this fabric feels very, not fleecy, but kind of like a fleece lining um, slash more of a casual short that you would wear like underneath, you know, like a long t-shirt. But yeah, I'm actually really impressed with this brand and the quality of this. Overall, the fit is really nice. So if you are looking for a new pair of biker shorts that was less than $25, this is definitely a really nice contender for other shorts that I have that I actually really like. And honestly, this is really, really nice. This is a nice short, y'all. Yeah, honestly. Okay, Camo Fitness, you're doing something here. This one is the Bay Leaf one. Um, this is the packaging for the, I believe it's Bay Leaf or Belief. I'm not really sure how they are saying that. This one is apparently a bestseller on the Amazon site. It is 87% polyester, 13% spandex. It was $18.99 at the time that I purchased it. This is a five inch inseam short and the color is ruby wine. I did get this one in a size large. This is how it looks. Oh, I'm really loving this, this dark wine color. This is how the shorts look now. I can already tell by holding this that I'm not really sure I'm going to like this particular waistband. It does have a really thick seam at the top that I feel like might dig into my stomach area, which I am not a fan of. It has these tags on the inside, which are pretty thick um, for biker shorts. So pretty interesting. This one does have pockets. The seams on here are pretty rugged. So I definitely don't think this is the type of short that I would wear for like long distance running because I feel like you can really feel the seams all throughout this short. They're pretty thick. So if you are a runner, this may not be the best option for you just because these seams are really, really thick and rough and you can definitely feel them. I'm not a huge fan of the brands that do like this logo situation where they like write out the name of the brand on the back. I understand why it's done. Personally, me, I think less is more, <laughs> you know what I mean? So overall, I'm loving the color. I like that this one has pockets. Not a huge fan of the polyester blend in this. Um, I feel like sometimes polyester can make me itch, but that's just me and my personal preferences. So we will give this a go. So this one is the Bay Leaf. And this one fits really, really weird. This is a size large, but I feel like it's very loose in my waist and I don't personally think this is an actual high rise. It's giving me absolutely no tummy control. I feel like it's sort of a high rise, but not really the way it's, or where it's hitting me is very 
I don't know, very weird. Um, this right here, the thigh part, is pretty tight on this area. And I don't know, y'all, like, it's okay. I feel like I'm in between sizes right now. Like, I feel like I'm not necessarily a medium or a large. I'm, like, right in between. And this, this isn't giving me what I needed to give me. And then it has, like, a pocket here. And I don't know why, maybe it's just me, but this design just feels like it's backwards. <laughs> or that I'm, like, wearing it backwards. Again, no very little tummy control if any i feel like the waistband is going to fall off if i'm doing any type of like jumping activities whatsoever so i would not recommend that overall i like the color i love a good red merlot reddish burgundy red um but this right here this isn't doing it for me okay this is a pass all right the next one that we have is going to be from sunzel this one had over twelve thousand four and a half star reviews like it was one of the best sellers one of the most popular that amazon kind of like has on there so it was top rated per amazon so we're gonna give this one a go and this one is 75 percent polyester 25 percent spandex it was 19.99 at the time that i purchased it and this is a five inch inseam this is the packaging and then this is a gray color at least that's what it said so far this one's pretty thick and it feels definitely different than all the other ones that I've tried. It has like this embossed kind of pattern on it so it looks kind of like rhino sort of like maybe like it's like a rhino cheetah something print. I'm not sure but you can definitely feel the print on there. It's not super crazy like it feels nasty or not nasty but it doesn't feel rough or anything. Overall this one on the inside feels very slick so definitely different than all the other ones that i've currently tried this one also has pockets on the side here so that's pretty good the seams though are already kind of coming undone on this one you guys can see that right there i don't know about all that that's not you know giving me great quality <laughs> this definitely feels more like a stiffer short so i'm not sure how much give this is going to have i feel Let's see, what size? I did purchase this in a size large, so hopefully it does fit. Not too bad of a short. I like the fact that there isn't, or at least there doesn't seem to be any huge branding on it. So you can basically wear it with any other brand and it's not going to be a clashy fit. I'm not mad at it, but it's also definitely a very different feel than what I'm used to. So now we have the Sunzel. This is the gray pattern that felt like kind of like it was embossed or you definitely can feel that it has like a animal print pattern on it and it, it's definitely different like it feels like not felt but i don't know how to describe how this feels but you can feel that it has like a structure pattern or something i'm not mad at this short i think it's an okay short this is a 70 75 polyester 25 percent spandex blend this feels like a very thick biker shorts not really sure how sweat wicking this is going to be it just feels very thick and very i don't know like i can't really describe it i just personally don't think that this material is ideal for a very sweaty workout maybe for like going to the gym and maybe doing like arms where you're not sweating that much or whatever probably would be good but if you're out here doing all kinds of crazy soul cycle stuff and you out here like that I don't think this is gonna be the bike short for you. It's nice that it has pockets, so that's great, and it does feel like it would fit like at least a decent sized phone in here or something. Like I am not mad at how this short looks. I think it's pretty flattering. I like that it does have pretty decent tummy control in this area. This is a size large. I have a little bit of tightness here in the thigh, but it's not a deal breaker, especially because it, this does feel pretty snug. I'm not really sure why I feel like I'm getting a little bit of waist gapping to the point where it's like a little loose here in the back but still pretty snug here in the front so again that just might be a me problem so I, I don't know I, I, it's not uncomfortable but I don't think I would wear this for high intensity workouts this short isn't too bad though I like that it feels compressive but not 
super compressive where it feels like shapewear. It just feels like you're very much hugged in and that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. I'm not mad at this short either. I like it. I'm not really sure if I like this particular pattern and maybe the other shorts like in the other solid colors may feel differently and may have a different blend of the fabric. So just FYI. On the inside, it doesn't feel like it does on the outside. So it's a very interesting sensation. It feels slick to the touch on the inside, but on the outside, it feels like I have like a felty layer on. It's very, very interesting. It's kind of throwing me off, but not, it's not a deal breaker, okay? So overall, this is the shorts. I like it. I like the length of the short on my thigh. It's hitting me in a good place. And I am not mad at how it's looking. It looks like a decent short. Definitely feel like I could probably work out in this. I'm not getting camel situations here. But again, that might be because of the little underwear trick that I use. It does have a seam here, which may be a deal breaker for some people, maybe not for others. But it's not super uncomfortable where it feels like it's riding in, in certain areas. But then again, I don't know. That could just be my, my trick, um, my little hack, which everyone and their mother probably already knows by now. So it's not really much of a hack. It's just, I don't know, knowledge. We have, I believe it's called Ododos. I think, O-D-O-D-O-S, <laughs> women's high-waisted biker short. This has pockets, and according to them, this has tummy control. So, you know, we all need a little bit of tummy control here and there, you know what I mean? But, um, let's see. Not too bad. This is what the short looks like. It definitely looks like a short or a print that I particularly like from a different brand. So this one's pretty close. It's not exact. This one does have pockets. The tag is right here. Pretty basic kind of tag that it comes with. They also have all of the sizing information as well as the brand printed on there, which is nice. So you're not gonna have like a tag in there like kind of distracting you. It does seem like it might be somewhat sheer. It looks like it has like a darker layer here on this little waistband area to kind of give you some bit of a, a tummy control, but then it has this thin band here at the top that may possibly dig into your waist, defeating tummy control because then your stomach is just going to stick the freak out. So not sure about this one. Now, this one has over 17,000 four and a half star reviews on Amazon. It's 87% polyester, 13% spandex, inside feel like a rougher short and I've kind of been noticing that with the polyester spandex blends kind of like a rougher not as smooth feeling type of short so I'm not really sure you can definitely feel the seams on this the seams are really thick and in my opinion rough so like I said previously if you are a runner you may chafe in that just FYI um, I paid $16.78 this is a five inch inseam the color is according to them 5d white and the size that I got in this was a medium okay, this is the Ododos this is the white pattern it has pockets right here it feels itchy okay like I tried this on and I already feel like I'm itching or it just feels rough like I talked to y'all it's throwing me off and I definitely feel like if I'm sweating in this it's gonna start feeling itchy and uncomfortable and it's not going to really wick sweat the way I feel like it should I don't hate the short like it's okay but I definitely feel like for some reason again we have <laughs> this little tiny band in here that is sort of digging into my waist but it offers absolutely no tummy control whatsoever. Okay, the panza is out and about and it is not, it, it's not feeling protected and this is not a cute short. Um, it has pockets and that's about as much as it's doing. It's not doing absolutely anything for the back and it just looks like, and it feels like it's flattening my glutes. I don't know, um, what size is this? This is a medium. It feels somewhat tight here, but still feels loose here in the waist like I literally feel like I have to do this every single five seconds but yet it still feels very tight here and I've, I just I think that's just a me problem I don't think it has anything to do with maybe these measurements but just I guess my my thigh and and waist measurements aren't I guess ideal for the general public biker short people I don't hate the pattern 
I'm not a huge fan of the fact that these seams are very bold and I feel like I can feel the seams. They feel a bit rough. But this, this right here, this isn't doing it for me. This is a deal breaker. And yes, it's a hard no, okay? No, no, no. It's not giving me camel right now because of the way I have my underwear set up. But it definitely could, okay? If I didn't have my little trick situation going on. This is not it. I don't understand how this is a bestseller on Amazon. This is a no, okay? Definitely a no for me. This one is, I believe it says HLT Pro, Hilter Pro. I'm not sure how they're saying the brand. Sports biker short for women with side pockets, high-waisted workout gym yoga short, okay? It came in this bag, but then it also comes in this bag, inside of a bag. So I'm not really sure what's up with that, but I guess you get extra protection or something. I don't know. This is how it came in this little plastic. Now this one is also a bestseller on Amazon. It's 92% polyester, 8% spandex. This is $15.99 at the time that I purchased, which was Prime Day. It is a five inch inseam short. The color is gray or five inch gray, according to, you know, the little color situation. And this is a size medium short. This one's pretty interesting, y'all, because out of all the polyester blends, this one is the softest one that I have pulled out so far. It definitely feels like a very soft short, possibly a casual short. Definitely don't know how sweat wicking this particular material is going to be. This one also has pockets. The only thing that I can already tell is it has this like, again, this little string on the waistband, which I guess it's supposed to be there to like help it stay up. But to me, that's just going to dig into my stomach and make my fupa stick out. So that is not cute at all. This is what it looks like in terms of the inside, the inside feels the same as the outside. So um, yeah, definitely more of a lighter type of workout short. The seams look interesting on this. I don't know, maybe it's just the construction, but I'm not gonna lie y'all, like it just doesn't seem that well constructed in my opinion. Personally, you know, I mean, if you need shorts for like less than $20, these probably will do the trick, but I'm not 100% sure how overall they're going to last. Okay, I do not understand why this is a top rated bestseller on Amazon. This is, this is not it. I feel like I'm wearing this short backwards again. It has this little waistband here, which isn't digging into my stomach right now because I believe this is a size, actually a size medium. This is five inches. So honestly, a perfect length for my thigh because anything longer just looks or makes my legs look really weird. It's not giving me absolutely any tummy control, so don't expect that from this. This is, you know, food baby, okay? This is not doing it for me. I'm not liking the fact that I feel like the waistband is loose, but the thighs are kind of tight. Um, so this is a pretty interesting fit. Um, it's nice that it has pockets. But there's something about this particular material that just feels very stiff and not as stretchy as the other shorts that I've tried on. I don't hate this color and I'm not mad at it, but I don't, I honestly don't think that this is going to be very sweat wicking. It just doesn't feel like it's very sweat wicking. It feels like this is going to show all kinds of sweat. The seam is not digging into areas that it shouldn't be digging into, so that's good. I'm not sure if sizing down you'll have an issue with camel toe, so just buy or beware. It's not a bad short, okay? I'm not, I don't hate the short, but I also don't love the short and how it feels, in my opinion. Like this, I don't understand why it is so difficult for sellers or for manufacturers to get the waist and the, the thigh measurements correctly. Like, I'm not really sure what's going on. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, like, I, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to rank all of these at the very end, but this is, this is not it. We have, I believe it's called Umkaji Women's Cross Waist Shorts. This is high rise as well. This is, oop, this is 75% nylon, 25% spandex. At the time that I purchased it, it was $15.98. That's that Prime Day special. This is a five inch inseam short. The color is black and I got this one in a large. This is the packaging that it came in, so nothing crazy special. Okay, so interesting. All right, 
it's so interesting to feel the different types of percentages of the fabrics. Um, overall, these don't feel too bad. These waistbands, man, are just um, okay. We'll see how it actually fits on, but it does have that cross waist. I've never been a huge fan of that cross waist type of thing. It's, it, as you can tell here, it's actually two layers cross like this. So it's pretty interesting. It has like a very thick inner band on the inside here at the top. It has a pocket on the inside for whatever, which also has like a mesh kind of lining. I'm assuming for sweat wickingness. I like how they feel and they look promising. So we'll see, we'll give it a chance. This is the cross waist one. Honestly, I am not liking these at all. You could feel the little scrunch thing up your butt. I am not a fan of that, y'all. I am not a fan. It feels so weird. I like the fact, like the length of them, but they're really not doing absolutely anything for me. This cross waist thing is not cute in my opinion, and it's like digging into my side right here. I'm not a fan. It's giving me no tummy control whatsoever, even though it has like this cross detailing here. The way it feels isn't too bad and they don't look too bad overall, but I'm just not a fan of how this is like really digging into my waist. And maybe some people like that. Maybe it's like snatching my waist right now, but it just feels weird to me. And I don't know, that scrunch on the inside feels like I have a wedgie. I don't know how other people are doing it and I'm not a fan, <laughs> okay? I. I'm not a fan. It's it's not doing it for me. The fabric doesn't feel too bad, so there's that. This is just it's it's not giving me what I need it to give me. Nope, we're gonna pass. <laughs> I'm going to give you all my top four based off of this ranking. The other ones honestly don't even bother. Like you could if you wanted to and if you're curious, but to be honest, why waste your time and money? Amazon does have a great return policy, so if you want to try them just out of curiosity, maybe it might fit your body type better than it does mine, go ahead. But these are going to be my top choices. I'm going to say the Levantu or Levant, Levant, I don't know how to say this. The Levant is the number one choice that I have. Um, this is very, very similar to a very popular, very expensive, and this is a very good short. It's very, very close to that. So if you're looking for a dupe, this is your friend. Okay, the Levanto. Honestly, get every single color of it. This is a very, very nice, comfortable, very flattering short, and I was very pleasantly surprised with this one. The second one is going to be the Camo Fitness. This one doesn't feel like anything that I have in my collection of shorts it's not bad i like that it's compressive it's a medium compression but it's not super compressive where it's digging in into places it's and it's uncomfortable it's soft but not soft like that contender or like the popular brand so just fyi it's going to feel different i'm not sure how sweat wicking this is going to be just because it does sort of feel a bit fleecy but not uncomfortably fleecy. I do like this one. I like the way it fit and the way it looked. And yeah, so that one's number two. I'm gonna say the Sunzel, this one right here. I wanna try it in a different color just because this pattern is really throwing me off and I'm not a huge fan of the pattern and the way the pattern feels. I think if I would've just gotten like the solid black, this is gonna be number three just because overall how it fits and the way it feels. I like it, I like the seams. And this one also has pockets. Now the number four, and I'm not mad at this, I just don't like the waistband seams on this Tom Tiger. Sure, I love the color of this and I love the way it felt, but I didn't like the seams on the waistband. And I guess I understand why it has like that double seam, but it wasn't giving me absolutely any tummy control. And for someone who has a stomach, I would like to smooth it out just a smidge. Um, but obviously I could see why this is a top contender for people who don't have that issue. But again, this is number four for me. So I hope y'all liked the video. I hope it was informative. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.